good morning, and welcome to this edition of Bob's Kitchen. Today, I'm in Casa Mariposa at my cousin's in Palm Springs. It's a beautiful morning. It's going to be nice and toasty out today, so we're going to make a nice, light brunch. Last night, we made some really great feta and olive quiches with some ham. And what we're going to do this morning for the recipes for this episode is just the side dishes and some nice recipes. We're going to make two things. We're going to make a great asparagus salad with mint and dill, some citrus and olive oil, and then we're going to do some roasted potatoes with garlic. Let's get started. Our first recipe this morning is roasted potatoes with garlic. I got some red potatoes here. We're just going to put them in whole, roll them in olive oil, and roast them in the oven at 400 degrees. I'm going to add some cloves of garlic. That'll do a couple of things. It'll give a nice flavor to our potatoes, and when we're ready to serve, the cloves of garlic are going to bake down, and we're just going to be able to squirt them over the potatoes. It's going to be amazing and easy. This is really simple. I spread the potatoes out in the pan. I'm going to sprinkle the garlic over the top. Then I'm going to grab the olive oil, which of course in a good Italian household, you never have too much olive oil. And just drizzle this over the top. One of the great things about being out in the desert is fresh herbs. For our other recipe, we went to the store, but gosh, we got a giant bush of fresh rosemary right here. So for our potatoes, we're going to cut off a couple of sprigs. Before putting them in the oven, a little sprinkle of salt and fresh ground pepper. God, I feel like Rachel Ray. This is too freaking cool. Okay, so into the oven at 400 degrees and they're done. Well, good morning. It's the morning of the brunch and we're ready to make our asparagus salad. We have a bunch of asparagus that we're going to steam just so they're blanched, then put in some ice water. And while they're cooling, we'll make a vinaigrette with fresh mint, fresh dill, and parsley. Mix it all together. It's that simple. It's really tasty. Let's see. This process for steaming the asparagus is really simple. Not every household is going to have an asparagus steamer like this beauty, but basically, you're going to steam the asparagus for two minutes and no more, because all we want to do is make it crisp and tender. So we're going to steam it for two minutes, then drop it immediately in the ice water to keep it from continuing to cook. So here we are. This is absolutely perfect. It's still flexible, but it's, it's turned that nice color green that everyone's expecting. We'll roll it in the herbs and let it marinate until we serve. The asparagus is blanched and now cool, and we're going to take it and cut the whole stack into about half-inch slices. Nice and big and liberal. And then what we're going to do in a minute is toss this with the extra virgin olive oil, our torn spices, and let, as I said, let this marinate until just before we serve. I want to take a second and talk about the herbs that we're using. We have parsley, dill, which is a personal favorite of mine, and fresh mint. Now, what I did was I took these out of the package and I bought them in from the store, and I just tore them. And what tearing them, tearing them open does is just release the juices and the flavor inside these herbs. You don't want to dice them up because you'll leave a lot of the flavor on your knife. So what we're going to do, what I've got here is a couple of handfuls of each, and we're going to put one handful in with the asparagus, and then we're going to make a side container of the dressing in case somebody wants some extra. So we'll put in the, the mint, the dill, and the parsley. A generous helping of olive oil. And we'll toss and leave this in the refrigerator until we serve. To make the simple vinaigrette that's going to go on the baby greens below our artichoke in the salad, I took the leftover herbs, mixed them with extra virgin olive oil, and I'm going to put in the juice of two lemons. And a way to get all the juice out of a lemon is to roll it on the cutting board before you do it. And that gets all the juices flowing, and you cut it and squeeze it. So, our olive oil and our herbs and our lemon juice have been, well, mixing together for a few minutes, and now we're going to push it through a sieve to make the vinaigrette that's going to go onto the green. So, Okay. 
Right, well, our guests are about to arrive, so we're going to get our salad all prepped up. We're going to drizzle this lovely herb-infused vinaigrette that we created over our baby greens. Okay. The final step is to spread our asparagus across the top and then grate Parmesan over the top of all of it. edition of Bob's Kitchen. Take a look at this spread we've got set up for brunch. Feta and olive and ham quiches, garlic, potatoes, fresh blackberries and raspberries, this incredible asparagus mint salad.